Hi guys and welcome to my not perfect tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make walking robots people style from complete scratch from the blank page. Um, yeah, and there is a lot of tutorials about rigging uh, and animation, creating animation with C motion in Cinema 4D. Uh, but most of them are very, you know, detailed and complicated. So in this tutorial, I want to show you the basics and super quick way how to animate your robot. Maybe you've seen some of my works where I did like Walking City, Walking Train. This was my first attempt to create. Um, walking robot and also I did uh, walking fake taxi uh, this animation is still under construction but soon it will be posted online so in this tutorial I want to create a walking car so I choose old Russian car uh, we call it Zaporozhets <laughs> um, I got it from David X in 3D warehouse it's a 3 model and for the legs, I will use uh, hard surface kit bash kit from Ole Gushenok. He have amazing kits and they're very cheap. So go and check him out on ArtStation. He didn't pay me for this advertisement. So I just, I'm a big fan of his work. So in this tutorial, yeah, we're going to make this car with the, these legs walking on the surface, some drone flying around and it's super easy and super fast to make it. So here we have a Russian car and we have a leg. Uh, I will use the same model for all legs so I'll rig this leg and then duplicate it four times. Uh, if I had like uh, different uh, legs in the front and different legs on the back, then I had to rig front legs and make a rig for re rear uh, legs also. Sorry for my English. So let's start to create uh, bones for uh, our leg. Or how do you call it? Joints. Let's hide the car so we don't distract us. So here is our leg and let's add joint. It's under character, joint tool, push control on your keyboard and here it is. So let's try to find middle point somewhere here. joint you see it looks like this bolt or how do you call it uh, is connecting these two parts so that's why I'm choosing this place and now let's choose the end of our leg um, these joints are disconnected and that's very good because, for example, uh, I had like bigger leg and I see that uh, I did somewhere mistake uh, and if I move this joint, others won't move also, so this is good. But I'm happy with the result, I think I found the right spots, so let's start to connect them. So this is the top joint, the second one, let's move under it. So now we see the first bone and the third one and then the second one. And everything looks nice. Uh, still these bones are disconnected from the mesh. So let's start to add mesh to this bone. So this is the top of our leg. This top won't gonna move. It's going to be connected to the car. Uh, but this middle must be between these two joints. So let's put it here. And the bottom one is between these two points. So we'll insert it here. So now if I move, move this joint, also moves this part. Uh, and now we 
need to create the goal where this leg will be pointing at. Uh, the goal we can create from any uh, object. In this case, I will use disk. Let's make it a little bit larger and. So we have a goal. Now let's choose the top joint. Uh, choose rigging tags and IK. We have to choose end uh, joint, the final one. And we need to add a goal. So now if I move our goal, the leg will follow it. Looks nice. Now let's group it. And it's very important that you group uh, the goal, the joints, and this top part. Because uh, if the goal would be outside this group and I, will, I would move the leg, you see what's happening again. Yeah? And let's add car back. Let's clone leg. Choose cloner, object, radial, and we need four legs in this case. And it's not rotated correctly. 90 degrees. Let's rotate cloner, 45 degrees. and reduce the radius. Let's go corner. No, it's better not to touch corner now. Let's move the car instead. And I think I will reduce more radius. Okay. Okay, let's choose cloner again and push C button. Now we have four legs. Front legs. And let's start aligning them. I think it's better. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Discs <laughs> for this, and let's move rear legs. And also, I think uh, rear legs we also rotate uh, by 30 degrees. we have a spider car but we need now connect all these four legs so let's first of all name them so this is front right leg this is front left L. L. 
rear left. left. This must be the right. Right. So let's move them out. So, the tops of the legs, they won't move, so let's move them to the car, let's move goals here, these are the joints. So we have to create the main joint, uh, character, joint. And I think I'll move John somewhere here. And let's move all the other joints under it. And let's call it main. Okay. And this car is the main between the legs, so we also will add it here. So this, let's call it spider car. Okay, let's save it. And actually this is it. Now let's start to add animation to it. Let's go to the char character, see motion. Uh, and now what we have to do, we need to add, to insert the main joint here and the goals. But the thing is, when I choose the the main joint, C motion disappears. That's why we need to lock it. So here we lock it, and now we can move it here. And let's choose four goals and move them under this main one. Let's save it. And now, when we enable C motion. We already have some movement. So let's go back to the C motion. And you see the steps uh, have too big uh, distance. So let's reduce them till we are happy with the result. More or less okay. And this time uh, controls the speed, how fast it will walk. But still, it's not realistic because the steps you see, it's uh, it's not stepping. You know, it's like moving on the surface. So let's choose all the goals and add action. By default, already it's lift. So let's add lift. Now we have a more or less good step, but the lift is too high, so let's reduce it. I will reduce to seven centimeters. Okay, looks good. And I will add some variation. So it will rise legs different uh, height time to time. But also you see the front left and rear right leg moving simultaneously <laughs> synchronized. So we don't want that. We want to make uh, a little uh, randomness. Okay. 
so you can play around with these settings till you're happy with the result but still we, you see the body 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 is not moving um, let's choose spider car also add uh, lift to it okay but this lift is definitely too big so let's reduce Also add some variation and I think mix and now let's play around with the actions so let's add shift a little crab walk again variation Spider and let's add maybe which I can't remember what Peach does. Okay, I can't remember, but but twist, yeah, twist is a, we definitely need. Also add a little bit roll. This roll is definitely too big. Variation. Somewhere is a little destruction. No, I think no, it's okay. I think it looks okay. And let's jump to interesting part. Let's add some cyberpunk stuff. Uh, wires. So let's add spline. This is the front of our car. I don't know. I think this is a nice place. good this one let's move it to the middle okay so we have first wire choose this point let's duplicate the spline and minus 24x okay looks good and let's duplicate both of them and move back So let's choose all the splines, choose all the points, control A, let's go to mesh, add, and subdivide. Or you can click U, S, U, S, still we are happy how much subdivided the wire will be. This is more than enough. Okay, let's choose this point. Do we have to understand which part is this one? So it's front left, it's under the bottom, and here it is detail number 984. So this detail is going to be at all legs 984, and this part of the car is this one. Let's group unnecessary. So let's choose the first spline, let's choose the final uh, 
point which will be connected to this part go to spline and uh, here tags and constraint so uncheck C motion this lock button we'll go back to constraint and this object as far as I remember it was 984 and we push set okay let's choose this plane again we're going to add here tags constraint um, this is front right 984 and set here tags strain let's choose the last point and this is rear left This is the boring part, but the result will be awesome. This is rear right, 984. Where are you? Here it is. Set. Good. Now let's This point, strain, set. Let's choose all the splines, here tags, and add spline dynamics. And it's very important that let's group them wire. And we put it here in the main one. Because uh, this object will move in different places and it should move together with the wires. Otherwise, we'll have like uh, unnecessary wire movement at the beginning. Let's push play. Oh, which one is it? So there are two ways to make, uh, to see the wires. One is I'm Octane user, so I would use Octane object tag uh, here, here. Uh, but also it's not the best solution time to time. But I will use this time sweep, add circle, centimeter radius, thunder. So we have four wires, so four times. Whoa. And you see the wire is too big. Still big. So now we, when enable C motion, you see the wires also following. We can play also with the settings uh, here, stiffness, rubber, rest hold.
But I am happy with the results, so I'll keep it as it is. Let's save it. And remember we had uh, in Beeple's animation also the following drone. We can add it also. So let's add cylinder. I will make a very simple uh, robot. Good. I'll hide the car for a moment. Park sorry. My kids came back from the walk. some rotation so let's uh, animate this tube okay. and now it's rotating but you see it's rotating till sixth frame and also it has linear uh, how do you call keyframe so what we have to do, we go to window, timeline dog sheet, let's choose this tube and choose it to linear. And also here appe appeared track and in this track we choose after repeat. So now it will repeat forever. And also we can control the speed. Let's do Now I like how the speed. Okay, so we we have a drone. And also this drone must be together with this uh, the car. Because it need to follow the car. needs actually sorry English <laughs> um, okay. and also we're going to need wire that will be connected to this car so we're going to add wire the same way we added wires to the legs It's not okay. The default object, that's why. Okay, and the second point. Oh, 
let's choose this device uh, let's search where this device is here it is again let's choose oops daisy spline points so we are happy how much subdivided it is I think it's more than enough I choose this spot point constrain object this one set and let's choose this one again let's add uh, constraint uh, this time is cylinder set uh, here tags blind dynamics and also we're going to add sweep Cool. Now let's activate the C motion. But you see that this drone moves exactly the same as body, and we don't want that. So what we are going to do? We're going to add vibrate tag to this drone. Let's enable position. Well, first of all, it moves too quickly. Big, big distance and also goes to the <laughs> and this is not good we actually what we can do we can choose this body on the car but I believe it will slow down animation preview for a moment. You can go here tags and here collider. Uh, and it didn't work. Why didn't it work? It only slowed down the machine. So I have an idea. the wrong one anyway This one will be attached to this point. And here it is, now it's perfect. Okay, we are, oh, no, I want to add some small. I'm 
else. I want to be go a little bit crazier. And I will add vibrate. too late and this is the problem with vibrate when we go back to zero it's again like this it's not good okay it's back to normal so we have a drone we have a car and now we need the place where it can go so first of all what we want to do we want to build uh, the path where it should go and also I don't need goals I can hide them and the path we can make with the spline make uh, some sort of loop animation this too big actually too small radius can fuck up a little bit see motion object choose walk path and let's choose oops, and let's choose this path you see now it walks where we wanted so we made the path with the spline but also we want some surface so let's add landscape, make it huge Let's go back to see motion, choose root, and here is the surface. So let's add the landscape to the surface. And let's add camera, which is attached to the car. Uh, just for a moment so we can see how it moves on the surface. So we don't see any glitches. And you see this body body is aligned to the Y 
axis so but we want to be aligned to the surface so again let's go back to see motion root and align hubs and also you see sometimes steps are too far let's go back to object we need to make steps a little bit smaller crazy add character inside which moves but uh, no then this tutorial is going to be too long um, ah you see here is a strange thing so that's why sometimes it's good that you also animate this one in some places Sometimes you, you have a displacement and uh, no displacement map, uh, and these legs can go uh, too deep inside the surface. So again, we go go to C motion root, and here we can control the height. So we can play around with spider. Vertical we can go like this. We can go higher. This is it. So this is a basics of the basics uh, uh, for moving robots. I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, if you need some more detailed tutorial about joints and, 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 and these animations and more different variations, let me know. Actually, I did some tests here also. You see, I made the joints like a different way, but this is the, the front, so I made like chicken walk. I made rig doll. Also with the C motion. Okay, it's not perfect, but uh, I didn't have time to, you know, to tweak it. So I hope to see more walking robots now on the internet. Thank you guys for watching and uh, feel free to ask anything on, in the comments below. And don't forget one very important stuff. Uh, check my Instagram, Paul Bierman, and check does the follow button works. Okay, thank you. Bye.